السلام عليكم ويلكم باك ويلكم باك يو نينجا محمد تشيك ات اوت ام هافينغ ايبيك شاومي مي باد 5 برو تابلت ان ماي هاندز ذا سناب دراجون 870 جيمنج بيست ويل بي دوينغ ذا اج ان اس سويتش ايموليشن فيديو رايت ناو تيست وذ ذس ون ريفيو ويل بي تيستينغ اول ذيس جيمز بات اولسو ان ابكمينغ دايز ويكس ميبي ايفن 2 3 مانس ايل بي constantly using this tablet for my video especially in Agnes emulator firstly we're gonna show you my settings uh, which settings I'm gonna use uh, of course all the buying links in the description I'm not able to uh, obviously fit this tablet inside of this <laughs> tiny gamepad you will need to purchase yourself additional 10 11 dollar cable which I will leave in the description guys remember that I'm having the half meter cable but I would advise you to get yourself a one meter cable okay just welcome back welcome back Resident Evil 2 revelations with the Mi Pad 5 Pro, let's do it. Snapdragon 870. Oh, and just we are in, we are in. Let's check it out how this game runs. Ooh, nice, bro. Nice. This far so far looks playable. Looks playable. Beautiful. So this is the, this is the bug with the new update, guys. If you want to play Resident Evil games, I would suggest you to download yourself 2.1.5, not to 2.1.6. Exactly the same bug uh, Resident Evil 6 has. I need to check the Resident Evil 5. I think, oh yeah, also Resident Evil 5 has. Wait, man, check these graphics, man. The light, the beautiful, beautiful. I mean, it's not a big issue. This bug is not a big issue, but it's there, man. It's there. Man, it's so awesome to play these Resident Evil games on a tablet with 11 inches, 2.5k guys. Awesome. There you go, face back. This is what happens with this game, guys. Uh, with this new update, and also they say uh, it happens with the campaign mode, uh, unfortunately. Uh, okay, this is the campaign mode now. <laughs> That's nice, they blurred it. <laughs> That's epic. Guys, I just started playing the campaign mode and crashed after the first uh, zombie attacked me, uh, unfortunately. <sighs> uh, okay, Resident Evil 2, uh, Relations, uh, crash. It will have some crashes like Siba stuff. 
shall we move to another game? We're gonna test another game for sure. Stay tuned. Again, the settings for this game. These are the settings. They're one of the best things right now which you can run, but uh, uh, we need to wait for more updates. Or uh, even with the previous one, I think it was yeah, it was crashing. These revelation games. Thank you. Bye bye. And just welcome back. We are in. We are in Resident Evil Four, which is really crazy, man. What a big difference between uh, this chip and Snapdragon 888. And 888 is running this game 60 FPS here, man. Big difference. Big big difference between Snapdragon 878 and 888 in this game for sure. Very playable, very very playable here. So this uh, Switch version, wow. Epic. Now we're next to the enemies, it's running 40 FPS average. Not bad, not bad at all. Drop to 38. Back to 40 FPS, dropping again to 37, 38, 40. Okay, now we had a big lag. I don't know why, honestly, I don't know why. Big, big, of course, speculation here for me is just it needs different uh, new updates. By the way, this game, guys, it before few updates it was running 10 fps it was terrible so this game probably requires uh, new updates all other resident evil games are running but again this is 60 fps this is the only i think limit yeah the other game was running 60 fps but they are more stable the other resident evil games are for me uh, more stable if i can say it like that The queen. Beautiful. Let's show you the settings. So I'm using, let's just say, the full, almost the full settings. I enabled asynchronous GPU, enable memory reclaim, and fast memory accurate, guys. Native uh, GPU drivers, native GPU drivers. There you go. Asalaamu